This is the JF1A HH handheld conductivity meter, and this is used to determine the electrical conductivity of distillate fuels and also hydrocarbon liquids in the JF1A HH-CM range. This unit today we're going to be using is going to be used to run a jet fuel sample for conductivity measurement. And according to ASTM B2624, which this device is listed in and is the measurement for electrical conductivity of jet fuel, we need a metal beaker that is grounded to run the sample. So we've taken a sample of jet fuel and we put it in the JF1A HH-BK for beaker, which holds the jet fuel sample and is grounded, as you can see here. To use the device, you simply hold the enter button down until the JF1A HH turns on, flashing D2 Incorporated across the screen. Then you get to the main menu. You either hit scroll to display the previous values that you've stored in the device, or you hit the enter button to enter it into the sample. Now the device is very simple. It only has two buttons, the sensor tip, white Delrin. It has the power source. It has a USB input, which connects to the computer, and it has a grounding point if you're out in the field. Once you hit enter, you pick the position that you want to store the data in. So we're going to pick location zero, which is the first of eight data storage positions on the unit. Before you hit enter to take the measurement, you want to put the sensor tip into the fluid and just mix it around so that the sensor tip mixes the fluid evenly. And then you immerse it fully, keeping it still and you hit enter to start calculating the result. Once the unit is in there, you'll see that there's a bar with an arrow. Once those are lined up, you're going to want to take hit enter, which gives you the result. You can see here the result is 0.0, .0 picosiemens per meter with 21.6 degrees Celsius. It also gives you a date stamp and a time stamp at that position. If you want to maintain that on the screen, you just keep it. To save it, you hit enter, clear it, you hit scroll. We're going to save it, so we're going to hit enter, which then turns the device off. And that's how you take a jet fuel sample of the JF1A HH handheld conductivity meter.